Okay, so now we're gonna do our switches. I think you did just fine on your switch. It looked good. I kind of thought you'd probably, probably knock that out of the park. So I've got my first piece of wire in there. Now I'm gonna put my other piece of wire. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I am gonna strip it ahead of time just because, well, what can I say? You know what, let's get a longer, let's get a longer piece of room. Don't be afraid to burn up the room. Okay, now let's try that again. So I'm gonna strip about, oh, let's call that about 10 inches, okay? And when we go into the box, now ask yourself, Felix, we just talked about it in the outlet, Felix, how much insulation do we leave in the box? Half an inch. About a half an inch, or, a, or about a finger width, right? Okay. So when we go into the box, okay, by code, we have to have six inches coming out of the box, okay? Well, that's about our six inches, all right? We, if you look down in there like we did at the outlet, we've got about a finger's width worth of insulation in there. I'm going to accordion fold it back. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take about 10 inches off. Boom. Yeah, about that. Well, this paper gets harder and harder to mess with every time. So I'm going to bring in my, my feeder wire and my home run, whichever we want to call it. Okay. There we go. Now I've got my home run at my switch box. Now at this company, our home runs go to our switch boxes. All right, now this is where we're gonna, this is where you gotta pay attention. This is called a segregated box. All of the colors go together. I'm gonna take my lineman. I'm gonna hold my lineman three fingers on the outside, one finger through the middle, thumb over the other handle. So take your take your lineman, Felix, and I want you to I want you to emulate that. I've got three fingers over the outside, one finger through the middle, thumb across the back. And all I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold my wires together. I can take that little cavity, get them lined up. I'm gonna pinch them, and I'm gonna give them just a little twist. Now let me be very clear, Felix. This is, a, this is a skill in and of itself. This is a skill, okay? Trim off a little bit of the excess, but we wanna have, oh, about a finger's width worth of copper wire. One, two, three connections. I'm gonna take my, my wire nut, twist it down, okay? Try not to have any visible copper showing. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna fold that bad boy back into the back, like so, okay? Now this next one is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but I promise you, even if you don't get it perfect this time, you will get it perfect in the future. But it's a skill we all have to learn, okay? Now the, the, the trade term is called a pig tail, a pig tail. I'm gonna put my copper wires together Take my little cavity, line them up, three fingers over the top, one finger through the middle, one finger on the outside. And all I'm gonna do is give them a little twist. Don't get carried away with it, just give them a little twist. Just like, just like that. Boom, okay? Make sure to kind of tight at the end, give them a little nip so we're nice and even. I'm gonna put a wire nut on it right here. Boom, very simple, very easy. Now take them with your, take the bare copper. Don't do this to the neutral because you'll hurt the insulation. But all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand my wire up, hold my other end so I don't catch it in the eye. Boom, boom, boom. Now look down in there. That's what we're, that's what we're going for. Now is it gonna look like that, especially when you do it the first couple of times? No, but that should be what we're going for. Okay, now roll back a little bit. Now here's the thing. This will put your eye out, okay? Take your finger, push it to a corner, 
push it to a corner, take your alignment, and just kind of pack it down in there. Okay, there we go. We've got it down in there. Now I'm gonna take my ground wire, I'm gonna give it a little fold this way. Very simple. Okay, now you will notice I, I, made a, I, I made a mistake here. Look at my mistake. I left all that wire out of the box. So we're gonna have to fix it. Not a big deal, not a big deal. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna pull this in and all that is required to fix it, boom, I'm just gonna lay that across, lay that across. I'm gonna, fall, I'm gonna break sure I've got about a half an inch worth of insulation down in there. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna accordion fold my wires down into my box. Problem solved. I didn't have to undo my wire nuts. I didn't have to go to the Connex. I didn't have to go bother Blaze. Nothing. All I did was just gave my wires a little tug and accordion folded them down into the box. Give them a little pack. Be easy to hurt, hurt your insulation. Okay, let me move it out of your way so you can see. Now look down in there again. And we got it right. Now, is it perfect? No, but it's right. And that's what we're after. So now for the simple part. We've got everything down in there. I'm gonna accordion fold my ground. Now in this company, what do we do? We do our ground wires first. I'm not telling you it's the best way. I'm telling you it's my way and we're gonna do it my way. So I'm gonna take my holes on my strippers, boom. And I'm just gonna, I, I'm literally just gonna give it a little clockwise turn, boom. That simple. Put it right over my screw, take the end of my stripper, yoink. I'm gonna take my screwdriver, give it a few twists. Biff, bam, boom. Don't get crazy with it, Felix, because you're strong enough, you can break that. Don't break that, okay? If you want to be a stiffler, straighten your wire out, but you don't have to be a damn stiffler. Don't do that. Now, when you're looking at the light switch, see how it says no. That means it's upside down. So we're going to form it like that where it's up. And I'm going to write on your board which way is up. So off, off, that's off, up is on. Boom. So now we're going to do our last two little connections. Just like we did before, let's do a little more. Let's do about an inch. Let's strip about an inch, okay? And it's it's subtlety. You see me struggling with it. Boom, boom. And I'm gonna take that bad boy and I'm gonna hook it right there. I'm gonna close it down. Now, I wanna be really clear about something. In the future, power goes on bottom. Switch leg goes on top. Right now, it's not part of your test. I don't even know which one's power, which one's switch leg, if I'm being completely honest with you. I know this is my home run, I know that's my switch leg, but I don't know which one's which. Doesn't matter, but as you rank up, it will matter. So I'm gonna strip this, about an inch, you know, not, not maybe an inch, not quite, not quite an inch. Boom. Boom. Couple of twists down, don't get carried away. You can break this switch. Look how that wire is not wanting to go underneath there. What? I'll fix his fiddle. Boom. Now then, we're underneath the screw like we're supposed to be. Now, when I go to fold in my wire, I gotta make sure nothing's touching this. Okay, so I'm gonna accordion fold my wire down in there, make it fit in there the way I want it to. Boom. Now look down in there. Is any copper wire touching that or touching this? No. You can see the ground over here. You look over here. There you go. You got a good clean switch. There it is. Okay, very simple. Okay, stop recording.